ONO AT 5.30, A FEDERAL JUDGE HAS UNSEALED THE MENTAL EVALUATION OF THE ORANGE PARK MAN ACCUSED OF SENDING BOMB-MAKING PLANS TO AN FBI INFORMANT. Now, THIS ALLEGED ATTACK WAS PLANNED FOR THE ANNIVERSARY OF 9-11. 20-YEAR-OLD JOSHUA GOLDBROOK'S LAWYERS REQUESTED THAT THE REPORT BE SEALED, BUT SEVERAL MEDIA ORGANIZATIONS, INCLUDING NEWS FOR JACKS, ASKED THE JUDGE TO UNSEAL THE REPORT, CITING FIRST AMENDMENT RIGHTS. Channel 4's Kamasi Arendt was in that hearing, and she joins us now live from the federal courthouse. Now, Kamasi, what did the judge decide in this case? Well, the judge decided to unseal most of the report, about 90% of this report here. The other part is still redacted for the time being. And those parts that are redacted are parts that Goldberg's attorney today asked that the judge just keep sealed. A psychologist determined that 20-year-old Joshua Goldberg had a severe mental disorder and couldn't stand trial. That is all in this report. She reviewed his medical records and things that he had written, phone calls that he had made and other things. And she also interviewed him at the Federal Detention Center in Miami. There, according to this report, she noticed that he functioned poorly and had to be placed on suicide watch. She said he was guarded and evasive. He had mood swings during this evaluation. And she called his thought process remarkable for his grandiosity and paranoid delusions, including delusions of being persecuted. And psychologists still could not specifically diagnose him, though, because she said he was just too unstable mentally. But she said he had several diagnoses in the past, ranging from anxiety disorders to schizophrenia. She recommended that he be treated, but said his prognosis is poor and he was not competent to stand trial. Now, as far as what had to be redacted, Goldberg's date of birth, where he'd been treated previously and for what, Part of his psychiatric history is redacted as well, including when he was first evaluated for mental health concerns. Also redacted issues, the psychologist noted after he had to be taken off suicide watch at that federal detention center in Miami. Now today, Goldsberg's attorney argued that this entire report should be sealed because of his client's right to privacy. But the attorney representing the media companies, including News for Jack's parent company, Graham Media, says this is really about a First Amendment right of access. Eventually, a compromise was reached um, with part of this report being redacted. We spoke with attorneys on both sides about the judge's decision. I think as a general proposition, it's always important for the public to have access to information that's presented to our courts so that the public can have a better understanding of what goes on in the court, why decisions are made the way they are. So I think the right of access is very important. But I told them that certainly it's possible that some of this information would be public, and some of it already has been. But, you know, the client, my client and his family would like to keep their medical information as private as possible, just like anybody would. But they understand that there's also a constitutional right for the public to know and just try to find a good balance. Now, as far as the parts of this report that are redacted, that could change. The judge is reviewing and analyzing the parts that are redacted, and he will address this issue at a later date. So the parts that are redacted right now, we could see them in the future. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, Kamasi Aaron, Channel 4, the local station.